Hi, let's pretend we have a log file. I made a fake one right here. Do you see how looking through this, how if you really started to stare at it and look for stuff, your eyes can bug out? I know a lot of people that can look at these logs and their eyes don't bug out and they can know what's in which column, but I did get lost too easily, so I have cheats. First, you get into the cheats of, of simple grep. So let's say there was an error on Sunday morning that you want to look at. You want to see all the errors on Sunday morning. So you would start off and you'd grep the carrot. It's going to anchor it to the beginning of the line. So it's only going to look at that first letter here. So we're going to look for just errors. It's sample.log. And we want to look for Sunday morning which I know was the 14. And since we want morning, we can do a space and a zero. Everything before noon, morning. That's great. There's still a lot of stuff. Say, so let's go at this point. We want to find out if there were any repeated IP addresses in there. So we start counting. One, two, we're looking at spaces. So this is column one, column two, column three, column four, column five, column six, column seven, column eight, column nine is our IP addresses. So we can test that out by adding unto here, awk. Awk is a program and scripting language Right now, it's just going to be used as a little tool, and it works on columns. Its name is actually came from the three guys that made it. Uh, let's see, I think it was uh, AHO, was one guy, Weinberger maybe, and Kernigan. So we're just going to print column nine. And yeah, the syntax is funny, but later on in some of these other videos, we'll learn it. So we see we have all those IP addresses. And again, how do you check for duplicates? Well, we can do it in awk, but for this simplistic thing, the point here is that awk works on columns. So for this simplistic thing, I'm just going to sort, put them to unique, so it's going to count them. And take out all the duplicates, and then I'll sort it again and put it in a human readable fashion and just do a head on it. And we can see if there's any duplicates. And there aren't, which isn't surprising because my sample log does it with random things. But that's how you would tell. So let's say we wanted to print a couple of columns instead of just the IP address. Let's say we wanted the first column to know if it was an error or not. And let's go for, let's see the timestamp has two different columns. That's two and three. Let's go for the fourth. There we go. That fourth one there is pretending to be HTTP status codes. So there's a whole bunch of things you can do with log, but again, for this brief lesson, it's all based on columns. Mm -hmm.